we're getting started. So I got a bunch of stuff here. I haven't exactly planned what we're doing tonight. Um, so we're going to make it up as we go along. But I always like to have a couple sets of weights. They're always optional. Um, you can use no weights. You can just use one set the whole time. I just sometimes have heavier ones and lighter ones. The resistance band, I'm always um, touting these. They're portable and cheap and very effective. And then I do like sometimes have one thing, either a block or because I happen to have these, just it's just a little rubber um, ball. They're kind of handy. But like I said, all optional. You can do any of this without anything. So go ahead and come to the top of your mat. And I'm going to go ahead and just set up. These are five pound weights. I'm going to put one on either side. I'm going to put the lighter weights just in case, just in cases, so that I can grab them. Um, we'll do one round of sun salutations without anything, and then the second time around we'll add in some, some weights. So go ahead and come to the top of your mat, take a deep inhale, stretch those arms up, interlace your fingers and give yourself a stretch, growing nice and tall. And then bring your hands behind your back, clasp them together, pull your shoulder blades together, opening gently up towards the ceiling. Don't throw your back out, just a little bit of a gentle stretch. And back to center, inhale, extending up. Grow nice and tall and just go ahead and move side to side, giving yourself a little bit of a lateral stretch. We don't do tons of warming up and cooling down in this class because it's only 30 minutes, but I don't want you to start from totally cold. And then bring your palms together and come down to heart center. So like I said, we'll just do two rounds, one on each side of sun salutation. Standing up nice and tall, shoulders down and back, spine in neutral. And on the inhale, extending the arms up. As you exhale, folding forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. And releasing, stepping the right foot back to a lunge, followed by the left foot. Option to drop to your knees and modify this, lowering. Let's go all the way down just to warm up with a cobra rather than dropping into up dog. Curling toes under, pressing back, jogging through in your down dog for a moment, just bending one knee and bending the other knee, giving your hamstrings a stretch. Extend the right leg up high. Let's open this hip by bending that right knee, dropping the right foot towards the left. Stop it, stacking right hip on left. And come back to center, swing that leg all the way through, long lunge on this side, followed by the left, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release, inhale, rise all the way up, and going right away again, exhale to release, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release, this time stepping the left foot back, coming to long lunge, followed by the right, releasing all the way down to the mat, Elbows head the side as we lift up to cobra, curling the toes under, pressing back, downward facing dog again, jogging through, bending one knee and the other knee. And then pressing both heels into the mat to lift the left leg up, bending that knee, dropping it towards the opposite side, opening up this hip, taking a couple of breaths there. Bringing that leg back to center, swinging the leg through, planting it down, stepping the right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release, and then inhale all the way to the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we're going to do a variation on Sigur Namaskar B. So like I said, if you have a couple weights, we'll pick them up a couple of times throughout this. So first, inhale into chair, Utkatasana. Arms extended, belly button in, spine long, trying to bring your knees over your ankles. We want to remember this. Let's go ahead and fold forward, giving ourselves a stretch here. So just hang for a moment, straightening the legs, once again stretching through the hamstrings. If it feels good, you can here even jog through a little bit, bending one knee, bending the other knee. And then release this. I'm going to grab my lighter weights. They're three pound weights. And bend my knees and come back up into chair, but with hands at heart center for a moment. So we don't want to necessarily extend the arms out when we're holding on to the weights. Go ahead and bring those weights down by your side. Roll the shoulders down and back. Belly button in, knees over ankles. So making sure we're not sticking the butt out, arching the back, but we have an elongated spine. We're going to stand up as we curl up to our shoulders 
and then back down. So adding a little bit of a bicep curl. Always trying to sit down and back in the hips so we're never tracking out over toes. Inhale to lift and down. Good. Actually, I lied. That should be an exhale to lift. <laughs> it doesn't always matter, but that exhale should help to push you up. A little bit of a squeeze of the glutes as you come to the top. And last time, standing up and then coming down into our chair, extending arms behind you. Turn your palms up and let's pump up. Little movement here. The lower you sit, of course, the more challenge, challenging it will be on your glutes and your thighs, but making sure we're not feeling this in the knees. So you notice I don't go super, super deep because I don't want to track out over my toes. Turn your palms inwards and pulse in. So if you're not using any weight, just make sure you're not swinging. You want to really feel as if you're creating your own resistance pressing against it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing those weights forward, forward fold. Go ahead and place the weights down so you can place your hands on the mat. Your option if you want to step right foot followed by left or if you want to hop back to plank. From plank, we're going to do five push-ups. I'm going to keep my hands narrow. We're going to lower down option to always drop to your knees. Elbows hug the side as we bring chest towards the floor. Exhale to press up. We're going to do five. So that's four, three, two, last one. Press up and hold. If you're on your knees and you want to come back to your toes, you can. With those push-ups, which are really hard, push-ups are not an easy thing to do. The key is not to drop your hips. If you're dropping your hips, you're liable to hurt your back and you're not going to build the strength you need. It's much better to bring your knees down and do the modified. And you can just even do baby push-ups. Just a little bend, a little press up without going all the way down. Let's hold here. Let's lift the right foot up. Holding that for a moment. Let's pulse that foot. A little bit of a lift and lower. Belly button in. You're looking right in between your hands. Five, four, three, two, and one, kick up to a three-legged downward facing dog. Press that heel towards the ceiling. See how much of a space you can create between your legs. Couple of breaths, inhale, exhale. And then swing that foot all the way forward, planting it down. Once again, grabbing weights. You can grab the heavier ones or the lighter ones. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the lighter ones today. And press up into our power lunge. Bringing those arms up, so we're at a T. We're gonna bend the back knee as we press the arms together, a little bit of a chest press. So we're dipping down and opening back up. Remember, with this move, I always want you focusing on the back knee, bending and lifting, rather than the front, because I don't want you tracking out over your toes. Your front knee will bend along with it. Let's do five. Four, three, two, the last one, coming back to center, power lunge, arms behind you. So really push in through the back heel, nice deep bend in the front knee, making sure you're not tracking out over toes. Triceps coming to shoulders and extending, shoulders and extend. Spine is long, steady breaths, inhale and exhale through the nose, and five, four, three, two, last one, holding for a moment. Good, go ahead and bend down so you can place those weights down. Placing hand on the floor, both hands on the floor, we're gonna transition this to a left hand, left foot side plank. So move your left hand really close to your right foot, and then pivot onto that left hand, arm extends. Option to lift and lower that top leg. Pressing up against resistance. So we didn't put the resistance band on, but we can create our own resistance. Five, four, 
three, two, last one, pivoting back around, step the same foot, the right foot forward again. I'm going to pick up my heavier weights, my five pound weights, stand up and pivot forward. We're going to bend those knees into a goddess. So once again, we're pushing back, knees trying to track out over toes, not collapsing inwards, staying nice and lifted through our chest and our spine. And we're going to do some movement with this. So we're going to stand up as we bicep curl up and drop back down, squeezing up and down. So really squeezing those glutes at the top to get that extra little bit of definition. Elbows are by the side, but not like gripping onto the rib cage. You want them doing the work. Staying nice and lifted. Each time, thinking about pushing back through the hips, thinking about opening the knees and the hips. So they're tracking right about your knees are going over ankles, but you also want them sort of over the, like not over the toes, but in the direction of the toes, as opposed to coming inwards. And we'll do five, four, three, two, last one, come down and hold it. Bring those arms up, sit nice and low, so I've got my hands at heart center here. Extend your arms, and I'm just going to bend at the elbows. So my base is stable, and I'm just doing a little bit of tricep work, pendulum swing here. We won't do too many of them, because if like me you're using heavy weights, that's a lot in the shoulder. Four, three, two, last one, bring them back down, don't hit your knees, back to heart center, squeezing up. We did this yesterday, or Wednesday rather, a modification of this. Bring those arms out. They don't have to be way out here. I want to keep the weights fairly close to the body. Just using it for some extra, extra resistance here. Option to stay standing. More challenging options can be bend down. And we're going to bend over and back to center. Exhale, bend over. Inhale, back to center. So the more deeply bent, the more you're working your thighs and your glutes. You can do this standing. Either way, you're working your abs. Let's do three, two, the last one, back to center, squeezing up, pivoting back to the front of the mat, weights go back down, place the hands down, step that right foot all the way back, chaturanga, so coming almost all the way down, hovering, flipping the toes, pressing up, up dog. Exhale, pressing back to down dog. My favorite series, right leg's going to come up. We're going to go right to left. So right knee comes out to right elbow, and we kick back up. Right knee comes into the center towards the chest, and we kick back up. To the left elbow, across the body, and up. Now back to center, and up. Back to the right. Exhale up, back to the center, exhale up, and to the left. Last time to center, place that right foot down, press into your long lunge for a moment. Step the left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, grab your light weights again. Rise back up into your chair. And we're right where we started. So keeping hands at heart center, we're going to do the opposite this time. As we stand, we're going to press the weights down and back. Squeeze them down, tricep or bicep curl up as you squat down. Opposite momentum as before. Still sitting low, sitting back in the hips, trying not to use the knees. Five. Four, three, two, last one. Extend the arms back, triceps again, palms up, pulse up. So I was saying the other day in the Wednesday class, I saw an orthopedist because my knees have bothered me for years. 
just chronically never did anything to them. But I saw them. I was talking about yoga and teaching and everything I do and my alignment. And basically said everything I'm doing is right. So all these cues I'm always saying to you guys about not coming over your toes. He said it's good for everybody, especially those of us with knee problems. We don't want to be up here. So that's bad. Back here is good. Turn the palms in. Open and close. Squeeze. 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 We're already halfway there. I always run out of time in this class. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring them back just to protect somewhere in the front. As you fold over, releasing them, keep them close. I feel like I stepped the wrong foot. Oh, no, we jumped back. <laughs> I was like, why is this different? Bending the knees, hands on the floor. So you can step left foot followed by right or hop two feet back. And bring the hands under the shoulders again. Plank position. No guarantee we do all of this in the same order, but hopefully I don't miss anything. Five push-ups. So bending down, elbows no more than 90 degrees. Exhale, press back up. If you're dropping in the hips, go ahead and drop your knees. I promise you, you'll train yourself that way. Better than doing them with bad form. Your knees, your legs straight. Last one. Plank. Inhale, exhale. Let's lift that top, the left leg, the top leg. You lift your top leg. <laughs> lift the left leg, some little pulses. Lift and lower. It's not a kick, but a lift. Squeezing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Taking a breath. Good, chaturanga. Flip the feet, pressing up and back, downward facing dog. And then we'll step the left foot all the way forward, picking up those weights once again. I'm going to once again grab the heavier weights, the five pound weights, rising up. Oh, I didn't do the five pound weights last time. I'm going to go ahead, these are heavier, I'm going to do the same exact thing, so you could do the heavier ones or the lighter ones. So we're making that same goal pose position with the arms. Bending the back knee down and opening back up. Bending down as we press the arms in, so it's a chest press in the front. It's definitely different this time with five pound instead of three pound. Maybe you did the opposite. Maybe you went for a heavier one last time. We're like, nope, can't do that again. Maybe you did the same. Four, three, two, Last one, coming up, power lunge, so we're pushing back through that back leg, and then uh, tricep curls. So we're extending, bringing to the shoulders. So you're hinging forward from the hips. Chest is lifted, but hinged forward. Deep bend in the front knee, pushing through the back heel. Four, three, two, Last one, hold them up for a moment. And then bend the knee, placing that foot down. Coming to our side plank. So, bringing the right hand right next to the left foot. We pivot around, left arm up, left leg, option to lift. Should have said before, you can of course always do this from the bottom knee. You don't need to be on the right foot, you could be on the knee. Lifting up, lift and lower, pressing against gravity. Five, four, three, two, last one, pivoting back around, hands under shoulders, that was my water bottle, chaturanga, inhale up, exhale, press back, downward facing dog, pressing into palms, pressing the heels into the mat, extending that left leg up, pushing the left heel away. This time going left to right, so hinging left knee to left elbow. Exhale, kick back up. Right knee forward and kick up. To the right side, it's always the left knee, sorry. To the center. Left knee, left elbow. Left knee to center. Left knee to right elbow. And step the left foot 
all the way forward. I just have to turn around because I don't want to have my backs to you guys. So you just go ahead and pivot to the long engine of your mat again and stand back up. And it's not going to have my backs to you because that would be silly. Standing up nice and tall, bending down into our squat. So again, I've got my five pound weight. You could go lighter. I'm going to probably regret the five pound weight because we're doing shoulder press. Whew. Taking a deep breath. Good. Press up to your shoulder press. And then we're going to bring the arms down as we stand up. So we squeeze and down and squeeze. So as you come down, even though you're not fighting gravity with your arms, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Create your own resistance. Still sitting down and back in the hips. Making sure the weight is in the heels, not the toes. And five, four, three, two, last one. Coming up, bring those hands behind, beside the ears again. Bending the knees, option to keep standing. And let's bend right and up. And up. Exhale, inhale. Exhale to center, inhale to left. Three. And two, last one, back to center, hands at heart center. Can you drop a little lower? Coming up on the balls of your feet, little pulses, squeeze and lift for five, four, three, two, and one. Forward fold, place those weights down, pivot your feet forward. And release the head. Release everything. Good. Pivot back to the front of your mat. Coming to a long lunge. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Plank position again. Belly button in. Holding it. Five more seconds. Good. Lower the knees. Come onto the forearms. Press back up into a plank and we're going to twist. So dip the left hip down, the right hip down. Lift and twist. And twist. Lift and twist. Upper body stays relatively stable. Lower body in motion. Three, and two, last one, to center, dropping to knees, and go ahead and sit back and swing those legs around, coming to a seated position. I'm going to grab my lighter, my three pound weights, I am well close to the wall. I need to move out a little bit. Okay. Grab me the three pound weights bringing them to the chest, hinging backwards. So chest is lifted, belly is in. Open the arms out and fold them back in. Extend, ooh, still too close to the wall, <laughs> back in. Extend and in. So we're staying nice and lifted, using the abs to support our body. Chest is working, back is working. Triceps and biceps are working. Shoulders are working. Everything but like your big toe. Three. And two. Last one. Extend those arms out in front of you. And we'll do some little pulses. Again, if you have no weights or if you're holding cans of food, that's fine. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then we're going to row it in. Let's actually row up and sit. So row up, extend back. Row up and extend. Five, four, three, two. Last one, place those weights down. I'm going to put a blanket or towel, whatever this is, under my back. 
and we're going to come down to our backs. So come on down, grab, if you're using the band, go ahead and grab that. And then this is the moment where if you want, you can use your heavier weight. So I'm going to take a 10 pound weight. You could grab two smaller weights. Feet are hips distance apart, fairly close to the body. And we're going to lift up and lower down. Squeeze all the way to the top and lower. So keeping those knees from collapsing inwards or being squeezed by this. If you don't have a band, but you have a ball or a block or a cushion, you could do the reverse where you're squeezing the ball in between your knees. And you can kind of do both, but it's like you're squeezing and pressing out at the same time. So it's a little bit confusing. Make sure you're really squeezing the glutes so you get as lifted as you possibly can. Five, four, three, two. Lift up and hold. Walk the feet a little closer if you need to. I sometimes find that they end up too far out. I want to really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze up. And now we're going to do little pulses. So we're staying quite lifted. It's just a little tiny squeeze. We're still pressing out or perhaps squeezing in with our legs to keep those knees parallel. And we're lifting up, up, up. So when I do this, sometimes I do this exercise alone for like five minutes. I'll do like 20 or 25 in each of these positions and then y'all have done the one-legged ones with me. Your glutes can take a lot of this and in fact they need a lot of it to actually get benefits. So the more you can do the better. They start to burn out and that's a good thing. And lift up and hold and then come up on the balls of your feet and keep pulsing up. So you feel this in your calves for sure, but it also slightly changes what's going on in your glutes, so you should actually feel it working a different part of the muscle there. So it's kind of twofold, plus you're stretching your feet, reducing your plantar fasciitis, so it's threefold. That's the beauty of yoga tone. We're very efficient. Five, four, three, two, and one. Squeeze up. Lower the heels, keep the weight where it is, walk the feet together, and now opening up like a clamshell and squeezing back in. Open up and squeeze. And again, you can do this without any resistance and you just press against your own resistance. Just don't let those legs flop around. You still get great benefit. People say, well, I can't do this workout because I don't have equipment. I'm like, so doing nothing is better? No, obviously not. Doing something is better than nothing. Doing it with the weights or the resistance just increases the effort, increases your muscle tone. But it's, it's not like doing nothing if you <laughs> do without the weights. Five, four, three, two, and one, squeeze back in, I'm feeling it, and lower back down. Go ahead and bring the knees into your chest, hugging your knees in, giving yourself a little rock. Bring your hands, or if you have a block or a ball, it works really well to just lift up. You can just sit on your hands here. Lower those legs down until you feel your abs working, and we're gonna scissor kick. So you're gonna open and close. So I have my feet kind of demi-pointed here, not a full point, but I want to engage my feet, basically. I don't want them being floppy. So squeezing, crisscrossing. Belly is in. The ball actually just sort of helps support your back. I don't know that it makes it easier or harder. You can, I think maybe it makes it a little bit easier because you can lower your legs down more. If you're just sitting on your hands, you're going to find you're not going to lower your legs as much because I want that belly in. We don't want to arch the back. All of us are getting some inner thigh work as well as abdominal work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lift up. Get that thing out from under you. If your hands were under you, you can take them out. Lower those legs all the way down. Deep stretch, arms above, legs below. Grab the right knee in. Give yourself a quick hug. Grab the left knee, her shin rather, hug that side. 
and then hug both knees in again. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. And let's rock up and down a couple of times, massaging the spine. Works your core a little bit. Hopefully it feels good. Try not to smack down. And come on up. Facing front. Bring the soles of your feet together. And a little more movement here. <laughs> soles of your feet together, lift up nice and tall. Use those arms and just press open your thighs a little bit. And then forward fold, just release down into that, letting the head drop, letting the back round. Coming up to sit and crossing the legs in front of you, taking a deep inhale once again as we begin. Interlace the fingers, stretching up, and just bend side to side a couple of times. And placing the hands behind the back, pressing into the mat, just open the chest towards the ceiling, gazing up. Keep that nice lifted posture. And that's it. Thanks for joining us for Yoga Tone, and I will see you soon. Have a good night.